Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode here at T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining me once again. If, if the sound is a little bit different, it's because I'm trying out a new microphone. This is the Rode Stereo Mic. It's the Video Mic Pro Stereo Edition. Uh, so hopefully it works out okay. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to put this video up. But it's really windy out here. Bright sunshiny day here on, uh, on the weekend. And uh, folks, I've had a lot of questions about my Barbecue Guru, this CyberQ device. <clears throat> I'll tell you up front, it's not the best thing to use on an offset. It can help you main, it'll help you monitor your temps, but as far as maintaining the fire on an offset, this will not do it. You're still going to have to add fuel to your offset every, oh, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour. The only exception would be if you're using uh, like a minion or a snake method with some charcoal or lump charcoal in your offset. If you're, if you're using uh, strictly wood like I do, this isn't going to help you. So uh, perhaps one day in the future I'll show you how to do this on the offset. But for right now I'm going to show you how to do it on my Kamado Joe. Now this device is excellent for your Kamado Joe, for your big green egg, for your grill dome, for your Weber Smoky Mountain. Uh, those types of smokers, this thing works like a champ. I'm going to show you how to connect it with the adapter to my, uh, put in my Kamado Joe. And uh, we're going to cook the pork butt for you here in a little bit. I'm going to inject it up with some uh, Cosmos pork injection. It should be pretty good. We're going to rub it down with, I don't know, I'll find something in the pantry to rub it down with. But it's going to be a long night, and this thing is going to make me be able to get some sleep. So uh, let me show you how to hook it up and get it running. Be right back. All right, everybody, this is the, the base of my 24-inch. 20, I got the big Joe, uh, Kamado Joe. And this is the adapter, okay? And if you're using the 18-inch, you want to use it uh, with the Barbecue Guru logo in the bottom left. And if you're using it for these larger, like the big Joes, you want to turn it so that it's in the bottom right. And you've got this little clip on the top here, this little uh, spacer. I'll show you how this works real quick. Slide that spacer into the very top track, if it'll go in there. Something like that. Okay. And you'll see you got your little stop right here and then the bottom track. Well, this spacer allows you to pull this down into the bottom track down here. So just slide it down in there. Okay. Pull that right there like that. And then you close the door. Let me see here. I've got to, let me nudge this. It got too far over, but this needs to go over just a little bit more. Like that, okay. There we go. Okay, folks, hopefully you got that. But now that's locked in place. The, uh, the Kamado Joe door is holding this in and the spacer's locked in. There's no gaps around here anywhere. And uh, now, all we have to do is plug in the, uh, the the fan down here. Now, I want you to notice on mine, I bought my Guru with this 25 CFM blower. It's the Pitbull. And this is big enough to handle the force air I needed in my offset. But when I'm using it on the Kamado, it's got this little damper in here. You can close it down a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. I'll close it down, I don't know, a little bit. Maybe halfway, a little bit less than halfway. And I'll plug it in the adapter here it just kind of twists in place and this other end plugs into the uh, to the brains right here so let me get that for you all right everybody these are the brains okay now I've got this this cord coming from my blower down here this is gonna hook up into the fan down here in the bottom you can see they've got different ports power fan and then there's four different probes three for food and one for your pit okay so now the fans plugged in I've got my pit probe already running in there. It's already inside the Kamado right here, you can see. So I got it stuck back here in the back. I've got the vent on top fully closed. If you can see up there. I've got it fully closed. See, it's open there. It's closed down. And this daisy wheel is uh, it's fully open right now, but I'm probably gonna crank it down to about halfway, uh, somewhere like that during the cook. But we're still sitting about 200, and I want to get this thing to help me get the temp up. So, we're going to plug it in. And, of course, you need electricity near where you're cooking. But let's go ahead and power it up, and let's see what happens. Oh, time out. I need to go get my cell phone real quick so I can... When you plug it in, it looks for a device like your cell phone or iPad or something that you can connect to it. So, give me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Got my cell phone now. Let's power it up. Okay. And hopefully you can see what it says on here. 
And what I'm going to do is go to my settings on my phone. Okay, go to Wi-Fi. See, it's trying to it's trying to do ad hoc pairing, which is how I have it set up. And it comes up and tells me on my phone, I can join, which I'm going to go ahead and join. So now I should be able to pull up this IP address that it was giving me on my Safari or whatever browser you have. Should be able to pull this up and uh, should be able to see my, if I can find it, I may not have it as a favorite in here. Uh, let's try this. Yeah, here we go. Should be loading up pretty good here. Okay, so that's what we got. Okay. Now we'll tell you too, on your phone, you can change all the settings just as if you were using the, the computer brain you know, manually. So I can get in here and change all these temps that I want. Um, and then hit submit down here and it'll change the savings on, uh, settings on here. Uh, so it says system setup here, main screen, control setup, Wi-Fi setup. So you've got all this stuff. So I can sit in my house, which is the, the main point that I use this thing. I can sit in my house and I can control my pit from this. Okay? I love it. Can't do that with the offset. So, um, all right. So let me get this thing uh, set up and uh, you can set your temps wherever you want. Get in there and manually change your... Uh, well, let me show you real quick. See if I can pull it back up for you. Hang on. I'll show you. It's really easy, folks. The problem, though, is I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of kind of difficult here. Let's see if I can get down here. Maybe y'all can see a little bit further this way. Excuse me. I'm just trying to get it where y'all can see here. All right. So I've got... Uh, all right. The actual temp... I've got Yoda here, but it's actually... I don't want to do that. Hang on. Done. I could change this and put uh, Kamado Joe here. Let's just put KJ. How about that? Okay, done. All right, now it's telling me it's 230. My set points fit 215, so it's a little over. And it'll come up and tell me that it's over here shortly. It'll start beeping and stuff. Um, and I've got, uh, let's see, I got port butt. And that one's open. See, I don't have anything plugged into port 3. Or food too, whatever you want to call it on the controller. But uh, let's 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 just. I know this is my pork butt because that's what I've got it set as. This thing's sensitive. So uh, change this to butt. But come on. Sorry, folks. Just fast forward through the video if you don't see this. All right, I got my temp set to 210. Let's change that. Let's set it to, uh, oh heck, um, I'm going to go, I want it to alert me when it gets to 198. Come on. 198 Fahrenheit. Okay, and then down here, tell it to submit values at the bottom left. Now, this is sending the commands to the barbecue guru here. So now this is set just how I just set it here. So that's cool. Now I can go inside and I can check my temps. And again, if I want to see what my current temps are, I'll just zoom in. Ah, come on. Anyway, you get the idea. Just kind of zoom in on here. And tells me my current temps right now, 235. And set points, 215. I actually want to change that set point. Let's change that to, uh, let's go to 250. Okay. And go back down here to the bottom, submit again, bottom left. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but let me get you down here. See down here? Hang on, I'm on a tripod here. Oh, hold on. Can you hear that fan cutting on? You see smoke coming out of the top? So since I changed that to 250, now my barbecue guru is saying, hey, we're only uh, like 230 or whatever it was. So we need, to, uh, we need to crank it up a little bit in there. So the fan cuts on. Amazing, isn't it? Thing works great. Barbecue guru. I got the CyberQ. Uh, man, tell you what, I need to go inject that pork butt. It's a 16-pound pork butt too, by the way. And um, it's Saturday afternoon. 
This thing's gonna be cooking the rest of this evening, tonight, and tomorrow too. So uh, we'll probably check on it here in a little bit. And uh, I'll show you the injection that I'm using, but I'm not going to show you actually injecting it because I wanted this to mainly be about this barbecue guru of this video. So uh, y'all seen me do pork butts before, but if you're curious about the injection, you know, you can order it yourself. I'll put some links down below and you can check it out or uh, y'all make some requests. I'll show you how to inject a pork butt if you need to. Let me go get the injection. I'll show you what it looks like. Be right back. All right, folks, here we go. This is the pork butt injection or any kind of pork injection. Cosmos. This is their uh, just basic dry pork injection. Uh, this is a powder. So you have to mix it with some kind of liquid of your choice. Uh, in fact, they say on here, uh, uh, this is a... Uh, <clears throat> Oh, you can do two seven pound butts with just three quarters of a cup of this dry stuff. But, uh, oh, that's, I guess that's what it looks like right there. There you go, it's kind of a, it's a powder. Pretty cool. Comes in a nice zip top bag here. So you can seal it right back up. And uh, anyway, it says you can add uh, apple juice, peach nectar, water, or whatever liquid you prefer. So we'll figure out what I've got in the fridge and what I can use. And this is gonna be the injection though. Just wanted to show it to you folks. And again, the website, if you want, is CosmosQ.com. Right here, I'll put it down in the link for the description box for you. So uh, we'll be back here and check in in a little bit. Hey, everybody. I was going to show you that rub that I was going to put on there, and look what I found in the pantry. Mmm, Cosmos. This is their Killer Bee Rub. I have used this before. It's really good. Uh, really nice, sweet touch to this with a little kick. Um, it's like honey in this, I believe. Dried honey or something. But it smells great. I'm gonna show you the pork butts now. And uh, it was, I thought it was one 16 pounder. It's like two eight pound pork butts. Let me show you what it looks like on the Kamado Joe here. And uh, on the Kamado Joe, I did have to shut that top vent all the way, the daisy wheel and everything. So we got two butts bone in, uh, rubbed them down with some mustard. And then again, I put this uh, Killer Bee by Cosmos on there. And uh, I did, since I've got extra probes, since I got extra probes over here on my CyberQ, I did put a, an additional. I've still got room for a third probe. If I've got three three different meats, I could hook up another probe right here. So uh, we're doing good. But again, this uh, this did get pretty hot. So I did have to close down that top vent all the way. And uh, we'll see, see if I can maintain about 250 to 275. We'll be rocking all night and we'll check back as needed. But so far, the barbecue guru, doing great. Kamado Joe, doing great. Old T-Roy, get a beer in my hand, I'll be doing great. Fixing to go hit the pool, so y'all stay tuned here. We'll check back in a few. Okay, everybody, it's the next morning. And uh, after about nine hours of cooking, if you look down here on that table behind me, these pork butts are done. So, uh, and I didn't spritz them. I didn't touch them. I just put them in there after I put the rub on it and let the Kamado Joe do the rest. And the, uh, the barbecue guru performed very admirably. Now granted on the Kamado Joe, it doesn't have a whole lot of work to do but monitor temps. But I'll tell you, when I lifted the lid and just took a peek at the pork butts every once in a while, uh, that, uh, that guru, it would kick in and bring the inside temp of the, the Kamado Joe back up like that, man. So did a great job on that. And um, as long as you've got a lot of coals in there, charcoal or lump charcoal or whatever in your pit, this barbecue guru will make sure that your pit stays at the correct temp. And uh, the barbecue guru, I'll put a, down, a link down below if y'all are interested in getting a guru for yourself and some adapters for whatever pit you're cooking on. Um, again, it's a great device. It's a great tool to have in your arsenal of weapons for cooking. So uh, let me do some pulled pork for you right here, show you some close-ups. We'll be right back, folks. All right, everybody, this is what we've got. Check out that bark. I'll tell you what, again, I did not spritz this or do anything to it after you saw me put it on the Kamado. This is just how it turns out. Check out that smoke ring on there. Let's give it a shot. And you got some uh, some sweetness in there, like some, again, like some, some powdered honey or something was in that uh, injection. And the rub. I'm liking that. It doesn't have any heat at all. I'm not tasting any kind of heat. Just a, a, a tinge of sweetness with some really, really good flavors that marry with pork. 
that's really good folks we're gonna pull it we'll show you some pictures of the pulled pork here in a little bit and uh, folks I appreciate y'all joining me hope y'all enjoyed the video y'all give Cosmos a try I'll put a link down below and also put a link down below again for the barbecue guru and the Kamado Joe in fact so I'll hook you up and uh, appreciate you joining me though hope y'all share this video and when you do I hope you tell all your friends that T-Roy cooks responsibly <laughs> cheers everybody <laughs>